Hey everybody, Sean here, and I hope you're doing well. Today we're looking at Jenny Weaver, so let's jump right in. And special thanks to JB for sharing this. If you're not familiar with Jenny Weaver, this is her website called Jenny Weaver Worships. And if we click on shop, we'll see a variety of things you can buy. Things like blankets, t-shirts, even ones promoting Holy Spirit Activate. Remember that nonsense? Okay. I'm going to ask you the same five questions you can Hold on. Okay. Holy Spirit Activate. Oh, no. Holy oh, Spirit yeah. oh, Activate. No. Holy Spirit Activate. 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 Oh. All right, let's go. Other t-shirts promoting some very controversial so-called faith healers like Catherine Coleman and Smith Wigglesworth. And as you can see, there's clothing for everyone because Christian clothing is important, I guess. Not to mention a large collection of Christian tumblers. There's jewelry. In fact, she may have the largest collection of things to buy that we've ever seen, including hats, kimonos, books, and so much more that we just don't have the time to show it all to you. She even has an all-in-one t-shirt course so you can make money because that's what Christian websites are about these days. And if you sign up now, you can get the early bird discount of only $200. And if you want to take it to the next level, she's also got the boutique online store course. So we can see that Jenny is definitely a clever businesswoman and knows how to market products. But all of this on a Christian site? And to get a mentorship from Jenny in this special core group, it'll cost you $20 a month or $220 a year. But with this group, you can expect weekly activations to help you get to the next level. One day you might even be like Jenny that apparently in 2021 hit the $1 million mark. Now, there's nothing wrong about helping others make money, but this site seems to be far more about making money than it does about spreading the gospel. We can find out a bit more about Jenny here. We read here that she's best known for singing the scriptures each week live on her Facebook page. Hundreds of thousands of people view each week from all over the world and share their testimonies of how their lives have changed since watching Jenny sing the scriptures. That's some powerful singing. We also read that she's been on the Sid Roth Show. That's right, folks. And of course, there's a product to buy. She even has a part where she does some of her singing. And I know that they out on you but joy comes right now joy comes yeah. now she does have a nice voice but what's with the so-called tongues in this do we not need translators if it's singing instead of speaking and on the topic of tongues, or should I say gibberish, I do have an honest question. Why is it that all these false tongues sound the same? It's always shabba dabba ronda halawana, some kind of an English tongue. Why isn't it ever an Asian language or an African language sound? I really did try to find someone so-called speaking in tongues in a different sound or language online, but it's all the same no matter what country it's in. Now, if we go to her YouTube site, we'll see she's about healing the sick, casting out devils, and saving the lost. Hey, amen to all of that, but the video we're going to take a look at in a moment is a bit strange to say the least. And so many today seem so obsessed with Christians and demons. She even teamed up with Isaiah Saldivar at one point, so there's another red flag. And this NAR crowd having so many angel encounters like she did really makes me wonder if it's fallen angels deceiving them. But the video we're going to look at today is called Prayer from Head to Toe, Praying You Are Healed. And her background music is a bit loud at times, so I'm sorry about that. Hello everybody, come on in. I'm going to pray prophetically. Why do people say such things? She's declaring herself a prophet by saying that. Can't she just pray for people? From head to toe, I'm going to decree and declare healing in every area of your body. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you, God, over our minds right now. In the name of Jesus, I plead the blood of Jesus. Somebody lay hands on your head and we decree and declare healing into your mind right now. Over 
headaches, headaches have to go, migraines have to go, tension has to leave. Now in Jesus name, all issues in the mind have to go. In the mighty name of Jesus, your thoughts are Christ-like. Really, she can babble in gibberish and just make my thoughts Christ-like. Well, that's a new one. Your thoughts are not limited. Your thoughts are not depressed. In the name of Jesus, your thoughts do not have anxiety. In the name of Jesus, I thank you, Father God, as they are laying hands on their head, Father, that you would heal all eye issues. In the name of Jesus, all of those flurries that are passing through the eye, pain in the eye, not being able to see correctly. In the name of Jesus, we break and bind cysts in Jesus' name. We command every bit of sickness, disease, and infirmity, get out now, out of the sinuses, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God, that COVID is drying up. I'd also like to know where in scripture it tells us to pray in tongues over people. Oh, that's right. It doesn't, and we never read of the apostles or Jesus doing that either. So why do people do that today? But Jenny is one of the people that believes praying in the Spirit means that we can all pray in tongues, as she teaches in this video while promoting her products. In fact, we did a video on Jenny Weaver called Fire 21 Manipulation and Brainwashing, where she is leading the little ones. She is tied in with Todd White and the rest of the NAR gang. I'll leave a link to that video at the end and links to the actual videos because they've been deleted multiple times. I thank you, God, that your blood has made the way. Somebody say, by his stripes, I am healed. By his stripes, type it in, I am healed. If you believe that, I want you to type it in. By his stripes, I am healed. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray now for deaf ears open now in Jesus' name. Pain and infection in the ears go in Jesus' mighty name. I think we've seen enough, and we're only three and a half minutes into this 20-minute video where she goes through praying for the whole body. Don't get me wrong, I believe as Christians that we can lay hands and be used by Jesus for healing, and I've seen it happen before. But their understanding in the NAR movement is that everybody should be healed of everything, and that's obviously not the case. And we're not judging if these people actually are saved or not, we are just looking at what they are teaching. And when there's such a focus on money, false tongues, and selling products on The Sid Roth Show, then we've got every right to be concerned. But make sure you click on this video here about her at Fire 21 and watch the links in the description box because it will shock you. But we will leave it here for today, so leave your thoughts and comments below. And until next time, take care and God bless.